smoke map. A smoke map. Let's go into our material editor and we're going to come down and choose on a mapping button next to diffuse and we'll go to smoke and when we apply that we get the parameters the size is the size of the smoke uh, clumps and the iterations is the algorithms that's going to create remember increasing this a lot increases your calculation times um, your exponent is what makes it look wispy and your color two is your smoke and color one is your non-smoke now this is good for uh, making things look like smoke from a fire or cloudy effect it also makes it look like smoke uh, in a light beam like in a spotlight and uh, so you can play with some of these settings uh, I'm going to create a sphere at this point and I'm going to uh, select it I'm going to assign my material to the selection in order to see it I gotta click on show show shaded material in the viewport you can see my smoke building around in there right so if I want to make that a little smaller say 20 all right and uh, so and if you want a little wispier you can make all these changes uh, also you can run a rendering of this and uh, to see what it looks like you can see it might be a little bit uh, better in the rendering but again this tends to make things like uh, smoke from a fire cloud cloudiness uh, or maybe smoke in a spotlight beam of light